So I was editing a Rail Siege video as per usual, and then I was watching some Jujutsu Kaisen to calm my nerves. Well, you know, editing is a very stressful job, of course. So I needed something to really distract me from my troubles. But while I was watching it, my spider senses went off and something didn't feel right. Something was different. And then it hit me. What happened to Jujutsu Infinite? So I scoured the web and it seems like it fell off the face of the earth. Nobody's posting videos on this game anymore. And then I found the reason why. All right, Dream Chaser, that was a little dramatic, wasn't it? What just, actually, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little dramatic. Welcome dreamers. If it's your second or third time watching one of my videos and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it for your boy. As you can see, I've unlocked the power of the fourth camera angle. Okay, 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 enough dilly-dallying. What exactly happened to Jujutsu Infinite? The game actually dropped a couple months ago, but it had one big issue. It was pay to play. Now, if my knowledge serves me right, it was about $30 to actually play uh, alongside the YouTubers. YouTubers got it for free though. The game was super hyped for release and when it finally did release, even with a $30 paywall, people went crazy. The game had so many players and the devs got millions of dollars off of it. Well, at the very least one. Everything was going fine. The players were enjoying the game at first and the devs were enjoying making that sweet, sweet cash. But then they ran into a huge problem. Game fam struck. Okay, well actually it was Roblox, but Game Fam probably snitched, so F them. Well, Dream Chaser, what exactly did Game Fam even do? Again, it was Roblox, not Game Fam, but they ended up taking Jujutsu Infinite down off of Roblox. For what purpose? Jujutsu Infinite didn't even do anything. Well, actually they did. Cover your ears, Tommy, but they were doing illegal activities. Dun dun dun. You see, Jujutsu Infinite was actually selling Tester for $30, and a lot of people were actually doing it at the time as well, but they were the ones who really popularized it. Again, they were making millions of dollars off the platform, but selling for Roblox. So obviously, Roblox took note. Do you really think Roblox was gonna miss out on money? Of course not, there's a little thing called TOS, and that's pretty much Terms of Services of Roblox. And you're not allowed to sell things on Roblox off platform it can be considered black marketing. So naturally, Roblox threw the book at them and they shut the whole operation down. Now this is where my knowledge gets very hazy, so bear with me. After all this happened, Jujutsu Infinite was taken down for a, quite a bit of time, and then eventually it actually went back up. And to this day, you can actually play it if you did buy Tester. Did I mention that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video? So let's hop in, shall we? Ow, 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 Tommy, cut the video, cut the video. All right, hopping into the game, we have Limitless and we have Rika, which is actually pretty W's. But never forget guys, life is Roblox. Now this is a very high quality looking game, as you can see, even the loading screen is super nice. That's why I got so much attention. Right now I am in the test area, but the thing is, even when you play the actual game, it's nothing but these guys just sitting around who fight you. Pretty much it's just sadly a bandit beater. So even after the game came back out, People played it for a little while and then it just got boring. You have bosses like this who just kind of roam around and other enemies. Obviously they look pretty they look pretty cool, but the main focus of this game was pretty much just the looks of the game. Like you can see it looks super nice. You know what I'm saying? Look at these cutscenes, look at everything else, and then you can just collect stuff. It's, and you got the loot here too, which was also very nice. I won't even sit here and lie to you. Kind of like a deep oaken type of thing, but more closely resembling peroxide. So you open these and you get a bunch of like random stuff, like cursed logs, all type of cool stuff. But as you can see, like this guy, his ability looks insane. You see what I'm saying? Like, and the, also the aerial combat was actually revolutionary in this game as well. So people really took a liking to that. Sadly, this is the state of most Roblox anime games. They just throw a bandit beater that looks pretty and looks super nice. And then that's it. It's just a bandit beater at the end of the day. So people play it, they get hyped for it, and they hype it up to, to the world, to the end of the world. And then they get bored of it and say it was a trash game. But Dream Chaser, what now for Jujutsu Infinite? Well, Tommy, in their Discord, they're still gaining lots of members. They just hit 300,000 members in their Discord server. And to this day, they're still pushing out sneaks for the release. But again, the question on everybody's minds is, when will Jujutsu Infinite release to the public? Sadly, the answer to that is, I don't know. With the current game sitting at 54 players, I don't know if it's looking good for Jujutsu Infinite. I hope that they keep the momentum going, and I hope that they're not discouraged by that low number and actually push the finished product out. It's also important to note that they did say they're going to actually change the way the gameplay is, so you're not just gonna be roaming around fighting bandits. It's gonna be a lot better, allegedly. If you made it to this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. You got any questions for the people, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, let Dream Chaser know in the comments below if you're hyped for the Jujutsu Infinite release. You actually said something smart for once. With that being said, my name is Dream Chaser and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.